you're live, boys and girls, on The Real. So, the Real Show with Toronto Mayoral Candidate Kevin Clark. And what we're going to talk about today, today we're going to talk about real issues. Real issues that affect everyday people. And this issue we're talking about is a detrimental issue to all people in the city of Toronto. And that's the issue of media fixing of elections. Is the media fixing the 2018 Toronto election? Well, let's see what we've got. The media tells us about the front runner, city planner, in her first election. Would you like to know how much elections I have been in for mayor? This is my sixth election. The media tried to exclude not telling you about me on the grounds that OE runs every time. If the media had promote the issues I address and my campaign in my first election, if I did not win, I would have won in my second election. But the media has ignored that. And it's not just happening today. It has been happening for generations in the city of Toronto. The media decides who you hear from, who they tell you about. But this time around, the media got caught in their lies. Because as long as Kevin Clark is here, the media can say, oh, he runs all the time. Okay, let's talk provincially then. He's the interim leader of a provincial political party in Ontario known as the people. Let's talk federal. He's also a four-time federal candidate. That's not a man that runs all the time. That's a man who has interest in all levels of government that affect the people of the city of Toronto and that's a man who has drive, determination and passion to serve the people of the city of Toronto and the media has disgrace has disgrace John Tory the media has disgrace Jennifer Kismack because now the public have no doubts that Jennifer Pagalero, whatever her name is in the Toronto Star, Dave Nichols, and these different reporters conspire. That's what they did. Conspire to impede the democratic rights of two 0.7 million people in the city of Toronto. And my friends, that's a betrayal. A betrayal that we cannot take lightly. This is a media we are supposed to believe in. When we go to the media, we're supposed to believe that they're telling us the truth. But what we didn't know is that the media will look at the egg and tell us that the egg is white. But they would exclude to tell us that the yolk was yellow. So when you decided to throw that egg at your friend at the anchor of the media, and that friend was wearing that nice white suit. Little did you know that it was all going to be tainted with yellow. That's the mentality of the media. They tell you the story that they want to tell you. And yes, the story about Jennifer Kismack and John Tory Platts. Yeah, that's the story. But the story there is that does that plan override the plan of Kevin Clark? Tory and Kismack won the plan and look out for 20, 30 years from now. Kevin Clark wants to look out for today. 
Tory and Kismak want to chase money, tearing down and showing that they've got power over everyone to do whatever they want. Kevin Clark wants to feed the hungry. He wants to house the homeless. He wants to create affordable housing. He wants to stand up to abuse of authority. He wants to create proper services for seniors, proper youth employment strategy program, combat guns, crime, violence. Let's reduce drug addiction and alcoholism, and let's address the mental needs of people in the city of Toronto. Oh, the media didn't tell you about that, did they? Yes because the media only tells you what they want to tell you and nothing wrong with that but if there's another side the media is obligated to tell the other side and that's democracy but the media never told you my side and the other candidates side now no disrespect to the other 20 something candidates but there's no doubt that six time mayoral candidate four-time provincial candidate, four-time federal candidate, sorry, 11-time provincial candidate. Because I am also the interim leader of an Ontario provincial political party. So I may not be premier, but I had the same authority as Doug Ford had in June, leading a provincial party. The only difference between me and Doug Ford is that I've been leading the provincial party a lot longer than Doug Ford. But what makes my story so amazing is that I did all, all with the love from a lot of people while battling homelessness and what's the word? Inadequate housing. So those are the conditions. I was living in while battling your biggest politicians in the land from Doug Ford to Rob Ford to Jack Layton to Bob Ray to Dennis Mills to Francis Lankren to Barbara All to John Nunziata to George Smitherman to all your biggest names so you tell me why did Mr. John Tory not debate me democratically. So October 22nd, John Tory may be called mayor, but you know, if he never challenged me on my record and I challenged him on his, but he was not willing to respond to my challenge, you will know that your clear choice for mayor is Kevin Mark Clark. One love, have a beautiful and blessed day. Take care of the children. Now, we do not know how to stop this. This is a new... How do we stop this here? Shit. Sure. You're alive still. So, so that's the story, everyone. Now I'm going to figure out how to go off this live video. Undertaker knows how close she came to his own demise.